Friends, how are you? I hope you had a good Easter. Um, I've been tied up doing other stuff, so I've not been with you for a week, so you've had a little rest. Right, I've got to do some catching up. Uh, I'm going to do this song, Jolene, which I've been threatening to do for some time. I did a rough one years ago, or about a year ago. So I'm going to bring it up to date. This is now a lot of young people will know this song um, through Miley Cyrus, who's a mate of Dolly Parton's. Dolly Parton wrote the song. But Miley Cyrus did a great version of it. So for all you youngsters out there, we'll call this a Miley Cyrus track, even though us oldies know that it was written by Dolly Parton. All right, so we're gonna do this. That's the main riff, okay. So download, go on to this, below this video, you'll see a blue link, click on it, uh, and you will get absolutely free all this my idiot proof way of playing this song okay so the intro the whole everything i've just played everything is on this one sheet of paper this one here um and then there's a few other bits for the other sections so let's have a look at what we're going to do um let me go over this one more time just for people new to the channel there are a few this is these are your 12 frets okay uh here are the strings that you're going to play all right the strings that you're going to play I've not put ones, two, three, four, the beats down the bottom. It's a bit, it, it sort of makes it more confusing. I'm trying to keep it simple. These are the shapes that you play here, and any indications of stuff that's going to happen will be notified here. It's dead easy. You'll, you'll, you'll get it. Okay. So uh, let's look at page one. Anything in a bracket, incidentally, you'll play together. All right? And there might be little bits underneath to tell you what to do. So let's begin. Capo, fret number four. All right? Play an A minor like this. I'm not going to tell you what A minor is. If you don't know, look at the paper. Now, it's an A minor, but with that finger taken off, it's probably got a fancy name. I don't know what it is. And quite frankly, I don't care. It's that thing, that shape with that finger off. Now, what are we going to do? You're picking fingers. I want you to follow up the rule. Finger one, play string three. Finger two, play string two. Finger three, play string one. And let th your thumb play four, five, and six. It just makes things easier. You can break the rule now and again once you know what you're doing, but for now, let's do it this way. So the first thing we're gonna do on this shape is five, three, four, two, five. What does that mean? It means we're gonna hit the strings. Five, three, four, two, five. That's what it means. And then we've got a four and two in a bracket, and underneath those, that, those numbers, four and two, it says hammer on. So we're gonna bring our fingers off and we'll hammer the whole chord on. Even though it says hammer four and two on, hammer the whole thing on, but just strike strings four and two. Okay, so we've got this five, three, four, two, five, hammer on the full A minor now, and then a five. So. And then you're gonna play a five, and then you're gonna play an open two and an open four. Do that again. Five, three, four, two, five, four and two hammer, five, open two, open four. Let's put that with a bit of speed. Then put your fingers back on A minor and you're gonna play four and two again, but this time you're gonna pull them off. And you pull off like this. Just drag your fingers down, all right? Don't just lift them off. You've got to create the sound to pull down. So we've done the pull off, and while your fingers are off, hit the four again, and then the three. What happens then? We start again. So, five, three, four, two, five, four and two hammer, five, fingers off, two, four, put them back on, with a pull off, then a four, three. And I'm gonna put that together. great isn't it, it re I love love that riff I'd have bought that record just for that guitar so that's your riff so that's done all right and you can see here the little indications of what to do all right 
Now, if you wanted to try and count it, it didn't put the count on, but it would sort of count like this. One and two and th one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and... Th if you wanted to try and count it. I, I suggest you just get into the feel of it. Now we're looking at the verses uh, which are here. Okay? Similar chords. A minors, Cs. Everything you're going to do is down here. All right? So this is, and I'll put the lyric at the top as well to give you an indication of where we are. So, Joe, so this is the bit we're going to play. Jolene, that bit. So it starts off with a five. I'm going to whisk through this because I don't want you to get bored. But on our A minor with this finger missing again. So five, four and two, and then five and two with the hammer on, and then a four. And then it says a three open, so you'll bring that finger off. Now on this, I have put the beats because it's a bit easier to follow. So bum, da, 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 do, da. See that one, two, three, four. Give you a rough idea. And the lyric at the top should help you as well. So we've got to C. Just, now, how do we do that? There's our A minor. We just take this finger and put it there. Everything else is the same. Five, four and two, five and two, three, four, three. So we've got. Jolene, Jolene. Get the idea. On to page three. So you now see a, a G. Six, four and two, six, three, four. intro riff. So we've got Jolene, 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 Jolene. Um, back to G. Six, four and two, six, three, four, three, six, four and two, six, three, four, three. That's begging of you, please don't take my hand. Now, you know, honestly, you, you'll get it so easily. If you just look at what's at the bottom, you'll get it. Me trying to stop and tell you, it's confusing. But, you know, I promise you, you won't have any problem with this. Now, we're into the, uh, the verse. Your beauty is beyond compare. Still on A minor. Okay, I'll, we're on page five, okay? So, five, four and two. Five and one, two, four, three. Slight variation. Okay, to C. Five, four and two, five and one, two, four, three. Same pick, only a different chord, so. Your beauty is beyond gone. The idea. Page six. word flaming page six six four and two six three four three a minor five three four two five three four three <laughs> you get it back to G on page seven six four and two Six three four two six three four two six three four three. What happens after that? Oh, back to the intro. It's easy. Okay, so Jolene, 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 Jolene. I'm begging of you, please don't take my man. Jolene. I'm changing the pick, I'm going. What I've done here is I've given it to you as close as the record, you know. And don't forget, when you listen to any recording, you're listening to the moment in time that the guitarist played it that way. The next take would have been a little bit different and the take before would have been a bit different. So if you happen to hit 
um, a third string instead of a second. Don't worry about it. One of the reasons as well why I put fingers on certain strings and they don't appear on the tab is because I know that both myself and you are litten by mistake one day and if we're covered with a finger on there, we're okay. All right, so look, that's Jolene. There's a tutorial I, I sort of, did I do a tutorial? I think I did a rough idea of it, just the verses a while ago. But look at the tab now, dig that one out. You'll, you'll find it, just click on the link Work your way through it, listen to the track, use that little cogwheel on, on YouTube and slow it down to 75% or even 50%, you know. Look at the thumb. A great riff. Now look, I'm going to leave it there. I've still got loads to catch up on. I've got to do... Um, Christ, I've forgotten. Uh, remind me, what have I got to do? Hold on. Oh, Salisbury Hill. That's going to be a fun one to do. It's it's um, it's tricky. Not be, well. There's some tricky bits in it. Just remembering where all the little bits go. There's that one and a few other bits which uh, I can't be asked. I'm trying to remember. I'm getting old. But you know which ones they are because I've mentioned it before. Um, and somebody mentioned about reggae. Somebody asked, said, "How do you play reggae? How do you play reggae?" Well, watch this. Do a bar chord, it's always good. You should always use bar chords in reggae, really. So let's look at a G. Quick, quick, quick over you on reggae. Let's assume we're doing a straight um, straight rhythm. That's not reggae, is it? Now do this. How do I get that sound? Just let your fingers sit on the strings. And now just press them down on the upstrokes. See that? Or, you know, if you were doing a sort of, do it like this. If it was a shuffle like Marley. Press, press. <laughs> reggae. It's dead easy reggae. Just you just upstrokes at all on the half beats. I'll go I'll do a proper tutorial for that later on, but I did say I'd mention it. Right, um the sun's shining. I'm gonna go out for a bit and I will catch up with you very, very soon. Alright, take care. Bye bye.